Welcome, my friends, to Pop Culture Fridays. I'm Troy. Are you ready for some hot, random fun facts? So last week I was listening or looking for a lot of British podcasts. I like British comedy. It's very witty. It's very highbrow. The observational humor tickles my funny bone in a particularly fun way, which I guess is the point of a funny bone. Uh, So I was listening to things like as yet untitled by Alan Davies or the Adam Buxton podcast or No Such Thing as a Fish. No Such Thing as a Fish is uh, a podcast with the QI elves. They're the the statisticians for fun facts for the show. Uh, If you haven't seen it, it's called Quite Interesting QI. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, Hosted by Stephen Fry, or was, now it's Sandy Toxvig. Still a great show. Lots of funny people like David Mitchell show up all the time. First fun fact would be, that's my favorite British, that's my favorite show, probably, of all time, QI. And, would I lie to you? I'll put some links up down below. Check it out if you're in the mood for a little bit of funny, uh, funniness in your life. I would check it out. Uh, I also got the idea, um, and as I was listening to, I think it was Alan Davies' podcast, As Yet Untitled, he was saying that um, the animals on a greeting card like a typical greeting card, you know, like a cat jumping out of a cake or a dog, like, licking this birthday candles or whatever it is. Uh, those dogs and cats, they're dead. It's easier to work with taxidermied pets. So while we're, like, sitting here going, oh, it's so cute, it's dead. It's dead. And so when I heard that, it blew my mind. I thought, I'm going to do a random fun facts episode this week because it sounds like fun and it sounds like a factual thing that uh, we all could use more of knowing more about this world. Isn't that what it is? All right, let's get to it. Number one. Bluetooth was named after the Danish Viking king, Harald Bluetooth, not making that up, folks, who had an uncanny ability to bring people together in non-violent negotiations. Harold Blue, Old Harry Bluetooth. Old Viking Harry Bluetooth. The old Danish king. Who would have thought? All right, number two. U.S. President Jimmy Carter once sent a jacket to the dry cleaners with the nuclear detonation codes still in the pocket. Uh, Some fun fact, the nuclear football is a black attache case which contains the electronic launch codes needed for a U.S. nuclear strike and provides a link with the Pentagon through a telephone. It's carried and chained by a military aide and is supposed to be near the president whenever he leaves the White Office. So in other words, the president of the United States has to carry around a briefcase that has the nuclear detonation codes, should anything go wrong, uh, just in case. I don't know if they're still doing that, but they were doing it from Eisenhower up through Clinton at least. would not there be an updated version of that? Like, it seems like the fate of the world should not be contained in a briefcase. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. Uh, Slippy, uh, Slappy, Samson, Samsonite! Alright, number three. And this would be might be the most fun one. If you drilled a tunnel straight through Earth and jumped in, it would take you exactly 42 minutes and 12 seconds to get through to the other side. That's, cr- that's a crazy fact. But it would be from the Earth. You would think it would be longer. I would think it would be, I don't know, days? Does that seem like a crazy thing? you think it would be at least like 10 hours. But it's not the sky, though. I wonder how long it would take if you fell from the the highest point in the atmosphere or stratosphere or whatever the highest one is to the ground. I don't know, maybe like, if you're thinking 42 hours through the Earth, then the sky, it must only be like 15 minutes? Wow. Can you imagine what would be going through your head for 15 minutes, if that's what it is? I think that's a. I think that's crazy. I think it would be longer. I think it should be longer, but I'm gonna trust science on this one. Blows my mind. All right, number four. This could actually be the most fun one. Under extreme pressure, extreme high pressure, diamonds can be made from peanut butter. Folks, is there anything peanut butter can't do? It's the best cookie. It can make diamonds. I mean, well, what else do you want from this this stack? I don't know who invented the peanut butter, but that's the kind of person that should be running the country. All right, number five. In the Middle Ages, plague sufferers tried to cure themselves by strapping live chickens to their wounds. Folks, we've come a long way, okay? You've got people dying of a plague. 
uh, that were strapping live chickens to themselves. Can you imagine seeing COVID patients now strapping live chicken? I mean, I guess they were drinking that what bleach or whatever they were doing that uh, that uh, malaria drug, and they they died. Somebody, there's something. I'm like, I, mean, I guess it's the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I guess, but I don't see anybody strapping live chickens to themselves. So that's good. There's also sub fact here. They also used to strap pigeon anuses to themselves in the hope that they'd suck the poison out. A dead anus is nothing. It's not going to do that. I don't even know if a, a live anus is going to do that. I mean, if you strap a pigeon to yourself, a dead one, how is it going to suck the poison out when it's dead? I've, I've said it before and i said it again. A dead anus is worth nothing to you. Number six. This is a weird one. Concrete is stronger if carrots are added to it. How do you find that one out? Number seven, this is not really a fact, it's more of an observational thing. I watched the movie You Don't Mess With The Zohan. I thought it was pretty funny, guys. Pretty funny. All those hip gyrations, especially the first 20 minutes. I would say that every Adam Sandler movie could be, about 60% of the film could be cut out. We know there's not going to be a plot there, but there are funny things that will happen in the course of, of, of an Adam Sandler thing, probably. Um, they're not all gems. Uh, Happy Gilmore's a gem. I think Zohan's a gem. Um, but so I think if Zohan was about 45 minutes, I think that's about right. Uh, this one, it's two hours, so you gotta kinda sit through a lot of boring development. Um, but I loved it, thought it was good. All right, and the final fun fact for this Pop Culture Fridays, July 3rd, 2020, pandemic edition, 4th of July fun fact. In 2017 alone, 13,000 fireworks related injuries were treated in U.S. hospitals with eight known fatalities around 4th of July that year. Gotta be careful out there, folks. When she walks, watch, the sparks will fly, fire cracking on the 4th of July. It's David Lee Roth, that's Yankee Rose. If you knew that, you're a son of a gun, I love you. Uh, that should be the national anthem right there. Yankee Rose, I hope you have a great 4th of July. This has been Random Fun Facts. Let me know what you think. You got some fun facts of your own? Slap them in the comments section. I'd love to hear them. All right, listen, you can follow everywhere at Culture Fridays on Twitter, at Pop Culture Fridays on Instagram. Hey, wait, hold on. Don't. I got some new artworks. Seven on the website, seven on eBay. Um, and I got like 11 more for a show that's coming up at the end of this month, or, or sorry, end of August. Check it out. This is where you are the, the works are going to be up this weekend. You're going gonna to want to check it out, folks. I think they're the best things I've ever done. So just give it a give it a gander. Give it a give it a goose. I don't know what to say. Alright, I'll see you next week. Take care.